Okay, guys. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I guess all of you have went through the videos that I've sent. Tell me. Just raise your hand. Have you gone through the videos? Yes. Right. I hope everyone gone through the videos and I have already sent you the notes for pre-reading so that you can get the concepts in a better way. Now, this chapter is fairly easy. Okay, this chapter is fairly the easiest chapters because you don't have to understand much, right? It's more about remembering stuff, okay? Now, before starting this chapter, right? Before starting this chapter, let, let's ask ourselves what we know about soil, right? What we know about soil. Think about it. Message everyone. What do we know about soil? This is the chapter that is uh, basically comes under environmental chemistry, right? Or, or physical science, you can just say that. But if I have to ask, right? If I have to ask, what do you mean by a soil, right? So what can you say? What is a soil? Okay, it's a mixture layer, layer on earth. Everyone, just tell me, what do you mean by soil? Because it is very common, right? But if someone asks you, right? If someone asks you, what is soil then? Everything is made up of matter, right? Upper layer of earth, okay. Yes. So usually you, yes, right? So ideally you can say that it is the upper layer of earth, right? Okay, the upper layer of earth, which is formed by the disintegration of rocks, right? Or by the decomposition of organic matter, right everyone? So this is, we can say, right? So basically it is a layer of earth, it is a layer of earth, right? Which is formed by disintegration or breaking down of uh, rocks or decomposition of organic matter. Right, everyone? Tell me, agree? Agree? So I can say that, I can say that, what is a soil? Soil is, now, if I ask you, soil is natural resources? Yes, soil is a natural resources, right? Okay, soil is your natural resources. Okay, so someone said natural resources, yes, right? Okay, so the first thing that we should ask ourselves, right, what is soil? So I can say that soil is natural resources, which is the upper layer of earth, right? Upper layer of earth formed by disintegration of rocks and decomposition of plants and animals, right? Or organic matter. That's the basic definition of soil. Now, soil, since It's a physical chemistry, right? So there are many things which are associated with our environment, right? Yes, Dutch. Okay. Now, after this, right? After this, I hope everyone, every one of you have like seen soil and uh, like hold it in your hand, right? Yes. Is there anyone who haven't seen soil yet? <laughs> Is there anyone like that? No, right? I guess everyone, everyone have seen soil, right? Now, can you imagine our life without soil? Can we imagine our life without soil? No, right? Yes, exactly. So we cannot imagine our life without soil. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's why soil is one of the natural resources. Soil is one of the natural resources. Okay. Right? Sir, your so voice is breaking. When we talk about what my voice is breaking. Guys, everyone, my voice is breaking. No, right? It should not break. Okay. It's not breaking, I guess. Mm
Wait, guys, just give me two minutes. Okay, yeah, my voice is fine. Yes, very good. Okay, so first question that we should ask, what is soil? What is the use of soil, right? These are things which is very common. We can know, right, just by experience. So I can say that as we have already discussed the definition of soil, that it is the upper, yes, upper layer of, upper layer of earth, right? Earth crust, right? Which is composed of disintegrated rocks, right? And dead and decaying organic matter, right? Now, what is the use of soil? If we talk about the use of soil, just think about it, right? We don't have to remember, just think about this. So as I said, right, soil is one of the natural resources. Why it's natural resources? Because it is required for the production of food. How? How it is required for the production of food? Now just think about this. Can we, can we have any tree or any plant without soil? Aditya, don't worry, you don't have to write all this, right? Okay, because I, I have already given the notes, right? I have already given the notes and the book is also given, right? It's already uploaded. Just listen to these. Okay, after that you can revise, right? Okay, because see, you should know how to write your own answers. If you understood any concept, if you know English, you can write your own answers, right? And anyways, I, I'm providing notes for now notes, right? I'm providing notes, right? Okay. So just try to listen and try to understand this concept first. Okay. In science, at least. Okay. Write down the important concepts, which I'll ask you to write. Yes. So I can say that soil, soil is very important. Soil is very important. Mansa, my voice is clear, I guess. Mansite might be your internet issues. Okay, so yeah. Yes, everyone, right? Yes, very good. So I can say that, I can say that soil is required for agriculture. It is required for our day-to-day Life, for example, we talk about clothes, right? Or we talk about shelter. We are dependent so much on soil. How? Because we need trees, we need wood, right? Right, we need bricks. Now, tell me, usually bricks are made up of, anyone tell me, usually bricks are made up of, usually. Clay or mud both are kind of soil only, na? right? They both are kind of soil only, right? Okay, now how many of you have a smelled soil? Anyone? Like when it rains, when it rains, there's a different smell, right? Manita, Mansa, there's an issue with your internet. Okay, because uh, apart from you two, everyone is uh, able to hear me clearly. Not keecher, right? Okay, that uh, earthy smell. Okay, when it rains for the first time, right? At the time of rain. So if I ask you, yes, it, it's like very uh, earthy smell, okay? So if I ask, what is the smell of a soil? So you can just say it is an earthy smell, right? Which we feel after the rain, right? After the first rain, okay? Now, yes. So if I talk about soil, right? Just try to make the concepts one by one. Okay, so we know what is soil, right? We know the importance of soil in our life. Okay, now, is soil important for just our life or the life of all the organisms? Tell me. Is soil is important for just our life or the life of all the... Yes, right, Yukti? All organisms. Very good. So, just answer this. Where, where earthworm lives? Where earthworm lives? 
in the soil? Yes, very good way. Ant leaves. Right, in the soil itself. So I can say that, I can say that there are lots and lots of organisms which lives inside the soil or on the soil, right? Now, you might be, yes, you might be surprised to know that, yes, the number of organisms that lives in the soil, right, is much more than the number of organisms that live above the soil, right? Which you talk about mammals or humans, if you include all the organisms which is live above the soil, right? It won't be, it won't be even comparable to the organism that live inside the soil. And okay, right? Because we talk about different type of bacteria, we talk about earthworms, we talk about microscopic organisms, right? Ants, okay, different type of insects, everything, right? Live inside the soil. Got it, everyone? Right? So this is one activity which I won't, like, I won't ask you to do. Okay. So this is the activity to know what lives inside the soil, right? Because we already know that earthworms, ants live inside the soil, right? Okay. Yes. So there are lots of yucky things also which lives inside the soil, right? Especially worms. Okay. So... Yes, right? So I won't be asking you to do that, but obviously I will be asking you one activity to do, right? Okay, there's one activity which is a very interesting activity which we will do. Yes, decomposers, right? Very good. Now, all just think about this. Are all soil of same type? Can you tell me? Are all soil, right, from all the places of same type or are they different? No, right? No, they're not same they're different right some are very yes some are very porous right some are muddy some is very dry right got it so i can say that they're different type of soil right for example the soil in your garden is different from soil on the road right yes yes many always need Yes, yes, Arav. Many organisms do not need a soil to survive. For example, when you talk about aquatic organisms, right? They, do, they don't need soil to survive, right? But just think about this now. If you're having a water, right? It should have a base, right? Okay. Yes. Currently, we are not talking about that type of soils now. Okay, red soil, black soil, alluvial soil, that we will study in social science, okay? Right? So we won't be discussing those. We're just discussing the soil depending on the nature of composition, right? Nature of composition. So just think about this, right? So we have garden soil. We have soil from roadside, right? We have soil for construction area. So obviously, obviously these all soils are different, right? Now, what do you think? What do you think? What makes these soils different? Tell me, what do you think? What makes these soil different? Think about it, everyone. What makes this soil different? Someone answered, right? Someone answered uh, at the start only because someone said that soil is a mixture, right? Soil is a mixture, right? Soil is a mixture of different things. So obviously, if the composition of mixture di differs, right, it will have different type of soil. Got it, right? Shravet, that's something which we will discuss again later, right? We'll talk about the, yes. So when you talk about garden soil, what do you think? Garden soil usually consists of organic matter. Yes or no? Sorry, my, my bad. Organic soil, right? Yes, garden soil usually contain organic matters because it's in garden when you, your dead leaves, right? Okay, they decompose, they mix with soil, right? Okay, so I can say that the garden soil and that, dead and decaying layer, that dead and decaying layer of soil is called as hummus, right? Which we will discuss again, right? So if I can say that garden soil is very fertile, right everyone? Garden soil is very fertile, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, very good, right? Why it is very fertile? Have you ever thought why garden soil is very fertile? 
because it contains lots of nutrients, minerals, right? Because of this dead and decaying matter or which is hummus, right? Okay. Now, second is the roadside. Yes. And they are generally moist. Garden soil are generally moist, right, everyone? They are generally moist, right? Because, yes, because there is lots of water in that. But when we talk about roadside soil, right, roadside soil, what do you think about roadside soil? Now, there's one more thing, right, if there's one more observation, when you talk about garden soil, it is dark brown, right, very dark brown, dark brown, right, everyone, right? Obviously, it might differ, I'm just talking about a general, right, general uh, observation. Now, but when we talk about roadside soil, right, so what can you say? On roadside soil, right? What can you say? Usually, usually there's no plants, right? It is very dry, right? It is very dry, yes, and contains some stone also. So it is light brown, light brown, dry, right? Most more or less uh, have lots of dust, lots of lots of dust. Right? Got it? Weed, yes. Weed is present everywhere, right? So, weed is unwanted plants, right? That can be present everywhere. Now, what do you think about soil from construction areas? Think about it. Soil from construction areas. They are mixed with sand, right? They are mixed with sand. Dusty, yes. So, they're, yes. So, basically, they are also dry and they are porous. Right, everyone? Right, porous means they are like sandy, okay? Porous, porous means, Ragini, it can allow water to flow through it, okay? It can allow water to flow through it. Okay, everyone? Okay. And guys, since I'm not using my account today, okay, so if if uh, the session ends, just try logging in the same link, okay? Just log in the same link, okay, everyone? Tell me, got it, right? Within a minute, just start, right? Same link, join same link, okay? Okay, everyone. Okay, now, yes, very good, now, when we talk about soil, right, I said that, okay, soil is the layer of earth, but which layer, topmost layer only or different layers also? Tell me, is there only one layer of soil? No, different layers, right? I hope all of you have watched the videos, right? Now, have you ever seen muddy water? Have you ever seen muddy water? Right? So this is a one small activity, right? This is a muddy water, right? This is a muddy water, right? Or this is basically mix some soil in a water, okay? Mix some amount of soil, right? Vrinda, I'll explain, no worries, because when we talk about the layer of soil, na, right? Layer of soil in detail on the earth surface. This is the layer of soil when you mix it in water, right? I'm talking about the layer of soil on earth surface, right? Then we'll discuss it, what is hummus, okay? So when you talk about, when you mix a soil in your water, right? When you mix a soil in your water, right? This activity you can do. So I hope anyone, anyone did this out of curiosity. Anyone who did this, right? Mix some amount of soil in a glass of water. Now, if anyone would have done that, if you have observed, then I can say that, I can say that, at the bottom of the glass, at the bottom of the glass, the heaviest particle will settle down, right? And the heaviest particle will be small stones, which is also called as gravel, right? So gravel is basically small stones, small stones, right? Right, everyone? I hope everyone have observed this, right? This is very intuitive, right? Or you can just do it after the class, okay? Now, above gravel, 
why gravel is such a why small stone is at the bottom because it is heaviest as simple as that right we know that the heavy object right sinks down right got it so since gravel which are small stones are the heaviest they will sink down okay now above this we will have a small yes smaller particle of stone right smaller part particle which is sand what is sand sand is basically the porous particle or very small particle of sand it uh, sorry stones itself right so i can say that sand is formed by stone right okay now when when it disintegrates just think about this just think about this i hope all of you have seen chalk and crushed the chalk yes right everyone every one of you have seen the chalk and crushed the chalk right now if you see a chalk just consider chalk as a stone just consider chalk as a stone right but when you crush it when you crush it they become powder right they become chalk powder right okay so same thing happens with stone okay same thing happens with stone right when you talk about a stone so stone on disintegration on breaking down right to a very smaller level it becomes sand it becomes sand first then when it further disintegrate it becomes soil okay right okay so after this we have sand right now above sand we have clay which is the finer particle of finer particle finer particle of sand right basically when sand disintegrate right it will break down further right so that it is very small very very small it will become clay right right then we have water and above water we have dead and decaying matter dead and decaying matter right dead and decaying matter yes or no and that dead and decaying matter are called humus right so what is a humus humus is a thin layer of dead and decaying matter okay got it now this is the layer this is the layer when you mix your normal soil when you mix a normal soil in water okay right it is not the layer of soil on earth it is not the layer of soil on earth right but it gives us idea it it will give us idea how the soil would be present in on earth right everyone tell me yes or no right this small experiment will give us idea how soil should be there on earth now if i talk about soil layer on the earth so the finest layer right the finest layer should be at the top or at the bottom tell me the smallest layer right the smallest particles right the finest layer of soil should be at the top or at the bottom tell me everyone yes that's very good very good ragini at the top very good at the top brinda at the top na and the big particles and the big particles will be and the big stone particles will be at the bottom right very good at the bottom and the medium particle will be in the between okay so let's see let's see everyone okay right so let's see the soil profile how soil is formed okay what soil is composed of now when we talk about soil the first thing the first layer that we see suppose we will saw the we will see the video also i'll just use the video also okay in the next right so the first layer was humus the first layer was humus so what was humus guys i have already told you humus are basically the rotting dead and decaying matter the rotting dead and decaying matter right everyone right okay it's not a dish there's a dish also called humus but in case of soil it is rotting dead and decaying matter for example uh, when you talk about dead leaves right or any organism which is dead after decomposed they form a layer right that is your humus okay now as i told you soil is formed soil is formed yes yes humus is world's most fertile because it is formed by dead and decaying organism na right and organism have different kind of minerals in that right
Yes, 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 Aaron. Okay, so the next concept is, next concept is, so I said that soil is formed by stone, right? Soil is formed by stone, right? How that happens? Tell me how that happens. I've already told you, right? Sorry, I have already sent you a video that we will see, but what do you think? How this happens? Everyone saw the video? Tell me guys, everyone saw the video? Yes. Ragini, I just said, right? The stone is converting into soil, right? Slow stone convert into soil, right? Right? Got it? And how this happens? So if you have seen the video, which I will show, okay, which I will show anyways. So if you see the videos, because of because of changing weather, because of changing weather, changing weather, okay. The stone expands and contracts, right? Because of, don't worry, Puri, I'll explain, right? Because of changing weather, the stone expands and contracts, right? And because of that expansion contraction, right? Because of that expansion contraction, there is breakdown, right? The stone breakdown. And because of rain also, because of uh, water, which is in between the stones, right? After freezing, it creates the bigger, uh, cracks, right? So after this process, right? After this process, which keeps on continuing for many times, okay, right? Creates stone into soil, right? So we will see this, we will see a video again and I explain, right? So I can say that what is, what is this weathering of soil? So it is a process of breaking down rocks by the action of wind, water and climate to form